guys welcome to my youtube channel please come and join me in doing this inspection and uh, visual inspection and check up on the efficiency of my carburetor if it's still usable or not it's uh, an advantage if you have an air compressor on hand electrical parts uh, con contacts also is in need of inspection Vacuum ports are sometimes blocked with dirt or the hoses having holes which needs replacement and cleaning also. When uh, opening, be careful to not break or tear the gaskets apart and be aware of springs holding the casing. Visual uh, inspection on the diaphragm and the gasket for any wear and tear. Dirt uh, sometimes go with the fuel, especially fuels that have water mixed in it. So take note of the small openings and clearances in this area because it may be black. Now, uh, before uh, attempting to open any of these said parts and pieces, please and uh, please do make uh, proper markings and references.
though we have a drain plug on the fuel bowl itself but uh, visual inspection on the bowl floater it's a spindle with pin or pin and the spring clearance is I think much better uh, please uh, be careful in uh, handling the gaskets uh, unless you have an available replacement on hand so better uh, be careful so as you see uh, there's no point in taking up taking apart the floater and the pin and also the spindle because uh, you can see the bowl is uh, clean and no dirt present so might as well uh, take it uh, assemble it back Usually there's a lower portion in the fuel bowl where all the uh, water or dirt or any sediments will will uh, just uh, settle down and that's where the drain plug on the fuel bowl uh, enters so it's where you will drain all the sediments na without disassembling the fuel bowl itself when assembling back uh, all the parts especially this uh, fuel bowl uh, be precise in uh, where the location of the gasket is sitting so that if you will assembling it back it will not cause any leakage or leaking of the fuel Now we proceed by cleaning this fuel intake filter screen which is located inside
before attempting to open any of the said parts and pieces uh, please do make proper markings and references to sum it all up better do it yourself to have a clear picture but uh, and only but if you have doubts in doing it better take it to a more experienced mechanic at your area and guys please click uh, like and subscribe to my youtube channel and please don't forget to hit uh, the notification bell for more of my videos uh, thank you so much